Hi and welcome to the first in a new series of videos that I'm producing on Photoshop Elements 2020. Now in Module 1 I'm going to be providing an overview of the Photoshop Elements and try and familiarise you with the basic components of the workspace and introduce you to many of the tools and procedures that we use to import, manage and edit your images. So we'll be starting off by creating and using catalogues. We'll then go on to importing photographs. Common problem sometimes, we, we need to know how to reconnect missing files. We'll be reviewing and comparing photos. We'll be switching between the organizer and the editor. We'll be switching between the modes and the editor itself. We'll be working with panels and the panel bin. We'll be customizing the workspace. And then we're looking at using Photoshop Elements help. OK, let's start off with number one in the list, creating and using catalogues. OK, the catalogue, really, the, the catalogue file is a key concept in understanding how Photoshop Elements works. Now, we do use the word import to describe getting photos into Photoshop. And that itself can be confusing. The image are not like hovered up and stored inside Photoshop Elements. When an image is transferred onto a computer, the operating systems, be it Windows or Mac, gives it an address. And this is the key part to understand. So once we've got our computer up and running, what we do is we install Photoshop Elements and Photoshop Elements creates a folder. And this is called the catalog folder. And this is where all the exciting stuff happens. Now, all the edits you do, any of the edits, they go into the catalog. Any metadata from your camera, your f-stop, your shutter speed, all that kind of stuff, all that is stored in the catalog. Any keywords, any star ratings, anything like that, all that goes into the catalog. Now, like I said earlier, the, the operating system will give you a location. And this is where the images are. And Photoshop Elements needs to know where the images are. So that location also goes into the catalogue. And that location then connects us to the hard drive of your computer. And on, normally, that's where all your images would reside, would live. But it's probably not the best way of operating because all these images are eventually going to clog up your, your computer. So what can we do? Well, let's have a little look at a little idea to give you an idea of where how the, the catalog works. Let's imagine I've just set a company up for selling soaps and I've called it Super Soaps. Now to get this out into the world, into the, the internet -y world, I've created a catalog. And this is the printed catalogue. And in that catalogue, I've got pictures of the soaps. And I've also got some data about them. I've got what they smell like. Um, I've got how much they are. I've put what colour they are. Now, the soaps themselves don't live in the catalogue. The soaps themselves live in a factory somewhere. On a shelf. And all I need to make this work is a connection and a connection between the catalog and the actual buyer of soap in the factory. Now the catalog itself, the, this can be a, um, a telephone number, it can be an email link, it can be um, an e-commerce link to the factory. And then this system works. I can order a buyer of soap and the factory will dispatch it around to my house. That's great. Now. The actual location of the factory doesn't really matter. If we decide to move this factory to some, another location, it could even be another country, the bar of soaps go with it. And what happens then is all we do is we change this link. Well, Photoshop Elements works in, a, in a, exactly the same way. That here in our catalogue, we've got the location. We've got the preview images, we've got the adjustments, we've got the metadata, we've got all that good stuff. That's saved in the catalog file and that stays on the computer. 
the location again in the catalog file so, so photoshop elements knows exactly where these images are but what we can do is if we change that location just like we did with the factory then if we give those images a new location those images could be on an external drive now so long as photoshop elements knows where they are and this remains intact then the system works perfect and the images then will not be on our internal drive they'll be on this external drive and so our computer will be giving a sigh of relief going Phew, it's good to get rid of that lot because most of the time Photoshop Elements, it doesn't need the images. It's just when you're doing certain things that it will need the images. And that's when it will need this location intact. Now, the first time you launch Photoshop Elements, it creates a default catalog file called My Catalog on your hard disk. Now, a single catalog can efficiently handle thousands and thousands of images. Now, if you want to, you can create multiple catalogs for different purposes. However, be aware that Photoshop Elements can only access and search one catalogue at a time. So the normal workflow is to use one catalogue and then use tags and ratings and labels and albums to organise your photos. Well, that's it for a brief overview of the Photoshop Elements catalogue. The next thing we need to do is get some images into it. And we're going to do that in the very next video. See you there. Bye for now.